that is the Hollies with Bus Stop. This is a CBT guitar lesson for Sarah. Always takes me down the oldies memory lane, it seems like. Very cool song. Um, four seconds in. <clears throat> you want to tune standard for this. They're playing a 12 string acoustic, so you're going to hear some tonality. Sounds a little thinner unless you have a 12 string. All right, so we're going to bar the fifth fret on the last three strings and then go to the eighth fret E. Um, not a bad idea to mute the D string underneath, but let's strum those. And then just go to the seventh fret E. Then just remove it to where it's all bar. So we have. Keep the bar and go 8B. So hit the G and B string. And then the fifth fret on the last three. And then again with a quick rest. So it's. Okay, then bar the seventh fret. Probably the most comfortable way is from the D string down. If not, you can do it on the G. But it's 9D, 7G, 10B, 7E. But, a little shortcut, put your middle on 8B as well. And you can just go strum, lift your pinky off. Easier transition, you know. And that goes twice. Section 2A comes in at 11 seconds in. I think we got 2A, 2B, and 2C, because they're all kind of similar as far as verse goes. A minor, open A, 2D, 2G, and 1B. And most of this is strumming, it's got a really cool solo. A and D basically off that, and then strum all five. And then down, up, down, up. That's gonna be your strum for most of this. It's actually seven times. My thumb's reading string six. So after your seventh one, you're gonna go, you'll start it again, you'll go down, down, or down, down, up, down. So to G major, three, two, open, open, open three. Um, and that's it for section two A. And the next thing is a C major with the G bass. So three A, two D, one B, but use your pinky on the three A, bring that third finger to three E. Down, down, up. So it's down, down, up to G major. Down, down, up. Right? And then A minor. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. D minor from the bottom up. One, three, two, open, open. I'm going to mute string six. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. E minor, same thing. Down, down, up, down, up. So your outline is okay uh, and that only goes one time section 2c at 32 seconds it's back to the the a minor that we did at the start of section 2a um, but it's just two times actually it's a little different down 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 up down up that's the same Down, down, up, E minor. When you hit the E minor, go down, up, down, up, A minor. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now we can move into section three at 39 seconds. It's a C major, like the standard way you'd play it. Three, two, open, one, with a high G note. Add your pinky to three E. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'm muting string six. to B7, I just love that transition. 2A, 1D, 2G, open B, 2E. With this finger, I'm gonna mute string six. Same strum. E minor, down up, down up, D major, same thing. So that gives you this. Back to the same C. Down up, down up, down up, down up. And then the A minor. Down, down up, down up, down up. B7, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up. E minor, straight 16th note strum for the measure. Down, up, 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 down, up. <clears throat> so here's that part. I'll play that really quick. We have a... repeats until we get to the solo at a minute 35 in. The solo is really unique. On the high E string we're going to go so 8, 7, 8, 7, 5, 8, 5 on the B, rest, 
and then did it again. So it's and then this is really cool too on the high E. Five, four, five, seven, eight, seven, eight. That's another good subgroup from rest to rest. And then eight, five, four to five B. So we have. Um, 142, that was the 135 timestamp by the way, 142, 13B, 12B, 12G, so 13, 12, 12G, I just shift the index up, on the E go 15, 13, and then the B, 15, and I found a little thing of, of the guitar player and this girl playing it, so that kind of was helpful to see the placement. It's interesting though, they did the intro different. Um, this girl was just playing like single notes, and then you had this. Or whatever they're playing behind that. But um, it still helped me. Uh, from there, to finish the solo, we're gonna go like this. Or. On the E, 12, 13, B, 15, 12, E, so. And then 13, 12, B, 14, G. Oops. This is cool too, 13, G. And then again, to 13, B, 14, 13, G. Weird, weird sounding notes. And then 14, quick rest, and then 14, D, 14, G. That's where it gets all happy. They, can hit, they hit a major chord there. Um, page four. You have repeats, and um, then there's an outro solo at 245. Some of it's the same as what you just learned, but I went ahead and tabbed it for you. So 5G, 5B, 7G, 4G, so, and then on the G, 5, 4, and then the D, 7, 5, to 7A, okay, so, 4G, and then on the D string go seven six seven, and on the G go four five four five, and then five four on the G to six D to seven A. Just so unique, man. Oops. Or, and then that's two forty five. 251, the last run, this is something we did earlier. Uh, 13, 12, B, 12, G, 15, E. And then 13, 15, E, B. It's fading out, you can barely hear it, but. And then E, 12, 13, B, 15, 12, E. 13, 12, B, 14, G. So you can hear the, you know, but they did a few of the same little phrases there. It's faded out at that point okay so there you go Sarah and I've got and think uh, is it humble pie I think so is your next CBT all right talk to you soon <laughs>